here we are. We're about to do the Haka makeup tutorial. This is my sister Rangino. She has Kira. agreed to be my model for today. Um, so first off, we're going to start talking about skin because that's probably key to um, getting a flawless base, um, really nice, healthy-looking skin before the day. Uh, so first off, I know it's cliche, but it really is true to eat healthy, eat healthy kai, and I know a lot of you will be eating healthy kai leading up, because um, that is what will um, give you nice, glowy, perfect skin. Healthy. <laughs> glowy, healthy looking skin. Two is skin care. Make sure uh, to look after your skin in that area as well. So the day before you perform, make, sh make sure you exfoliate your skin, get rid of all the, the dead skin. To me, what I like to see um, when watching performers is just like flawless skin. And, and I have to say, less is more. It's really nice to see um, natural looking makeup. But we're just going to get straight into it. Here is my Haka makeup tutorial. So starting off with the base, we have cleansed her face, uh, we have moisturized it. So make sure you do those first thing in the morning before you apply your makeup. And now I'm just going to spray this MAC Prep and Prime. Um, so I just use this just to prep the face before I apply everything else on top of it. Very good for hydrating your skin. So I'm just going to spray this all over. And you just let that soak in. Another thing uh, for prepping your face is to grab some lip balm. You can grab some purple, any kind of lip balm. And just apply that onto your lips before you start your makeup. Just to hydrate those lips. And now on to priming the face. So I like to use this for anyone that has pores. I love to use this. It's the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. Um, it's a favorite of mine. It is a little bit pricey, but it really does the job. So I'm just gonna apply. <laughs> just using my finger, I'm just gonna apply it to the areas that she has quite deep pores, just to fill those in. Just smooths out her skin. And another note too for today, um, it's really important to use matte um, products. So as you can imagine, you're standing on the stage in front of all these huge lights. Um, and if you wear anything that's dewy or makes you glow, it actually makes it look like you're sweating. So a lot of girls come on the stage and before they've even performed, they look like they've been sweating. So a good thing is to um, buy a lot of matte products. So for the rest of her face, while I'm priming, I'm using this Mattifying Base by L'Oreal. So it's a primer and I'm just going to apply it all over her face, using my hands, really working it into the skin. But what it also does is mattifies her skin, and so it keeps it from glowing, being more glowy and dewy, if that makes sense. Put it over the eyes as well. Really working it into the skin. <laughs> So that's all I would do for prepping her skin and then now I'm going to move on to foundation. So I'm just going to keep talking about using matte products. Um, she has, I'm just using her foundation today but this is what I use in my kit as well, it's a favourite of mine, it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. But I've got two options here for anyone who wants to buy something more affordable. Um, there's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, so that's matte, matte finish and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation, another matte product. So there's those two, you can find them anywhere, Wari Fare, Farmers, Kmart, um, they're around $20. So yeah. So just before I move on to foundation, she's got quite um, dark patches or dark skin um, just in these areas, so under her eyes and then on her eyes. So I'm just going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal, so it's a colour corrector, um, it's orange. And what it basically does is just um, Camouflages the black, <laughs> the black tones. So I'm just applying that into those dark areas. Now I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and just blend that in. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the foundation now. So her shade is NC45. Using a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all into her skin. So 
But now we're going to move on to concealer. So I'm going to apply this over top of where I did the colour correcting. As well as I'm going to highlight just the high points of her face. So I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is pure beige. Applying that under the eyes. On the forehead, in the middle, on the nose, Cupid's bow, and just here on the chin, um, as well as on her eyes. So I'm just grabbing that damp beauty blender again, and just blending that all in. Really working the beauty blender into the skin to help it make it look more flawless and natural and close and now just to set all that in um, I'm just going to use a powder so this is the dark oh sorry the MAC mineralized skin finish powder but you can use any powder that you have um, just make sure it's a setting powder so I'm just going to apply that all over her skin I'm just going to move on to brows now, and I know a lot of you are going to have uh, the most amazing brows on that stage. Mm -hmm. I'm just using, this is her brow product, it's called the Car Brow by Benefit. And um, it's really good for anyone that's just starting out to kind of... They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, starting out <laughs> with their brows. So for her brows, I'm just going to follow her natural shape. So that's all I'm going to do for her brows. I'm just going to um, put some brow gel on it. So what brow gel does just keeps the hairs in place, which is probably what you need um, to last you throughout the day. So I'm just using the Ico brow gel. You can find some clear brow gels, and um, there's a lot of um, affordable ones too, so just look out for them. So although I really like the, um, the natural no eyeshadow look, I'm just going to show you just what I would do if I was to put eyeshadow on. So it's basically contouring for your eyes. I would just grab a light brown shade. So I'm just going to use this one here, Lula, from my Master Palette by Mario. And I'm just going to apply this just in the, in the um, crease area. Really lightly. So what is this doing? It's just defining and um, defining the crease so that when she opens up, it just kind of creates the hollow there for her, the hollow of the crease. That's all I would do for eyeshadow. No shimmers, stay away from shimmers. So I'm just going to grab the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's waterproof, so you really need a waterproof mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to her lashes. And just kind of So if you have, if you already have really long full lashes, then awesome. But there's some that don't. So um, I always recommend getting lash extensions um, because they look a lot more natural. But um, if you can't afford, if you can't afford lash extensions, you can um, apply some false lashes. So I'll just show you how I apply the false lashes. The lashes I'm using are from Model Rock, and for glue, I use the Duo Eyelash Adhesives. Applying them as close to her real lashes as possible. Okay, just keep them close, so we'll just let those dry up. So after you apply the false lashes, what you want to use is e e an eyeliner. So you can use liquid liners, you can use cream gel liners. Um, so I'm using this eyeliner gel by Inglot. So I'm just going to apply this to the top lash line, so just above where her, um, the false lashes are. And what it does, it just fills in those blank areas.
I'm keeping the line quite thin so that it's not too dramatic. Um, just making it look a lot more natural. So people um, seem to assume that if you put black on the lower lash line that it's going to actually, it's going to make your eyes pop but really what it does it actually makes them look smaller it kind of um, closes them in if that makes sense um, so what I'm going to do is just show you how I would do it to make the eyes pop I'm just grabbing just any random palette that has kind of like a dark shade or dark powder um, so I'm just grabbing the Tartlet in Bloom palette palette just using a really really thin um, flat definer brush just going to grab a little bit of the product. So this one is actually quite is dark brown, so not black. And what I'm going to do is just apply this just underneath her lashes. Are you bringing it halfway? And then I'm going to just a little bit, just try and smudge it out. So to make the eyes pop, you need like a little bit of white so you can get, um, so in the palette there's some powder, um, white powder if you can use that, um, but because she has quite dark skin tone I have to use um, a pencil, so I've got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, um, I have lost my sharpener so I'm using just a brush, what's this called, oh it's an eyeliner brush, this is from EXO Beauty. And I'm just really, really lightly, I'm just going to apply this to the waterline. Just grabbing that black, I'm just going to smudge it out underneath it. And then grabbing the mascara, I'm just going to apply this to the bottom lashes. So now I'm going to move on to bronzer because I'm not going to do contouring. I'm just grabbing my uh, MAC bronzing powder and this is matte bronze. You need to make sure that it's, uh, it's matte. So just using, um, this is a blush brush actually, but I'm just going to use this and just lightly blend it along her cheeks. Just giving her a bit of colour in her face. <laughs> now moving on to blush, I'm just going to grab this um, shade. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Melba maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to apply this onto her cheeks. So as you can see I put a lot of product over here and then once you've over I've it up to the top. So no highlight, I'm not applying any highlighter on her um, because we don't want. It's just going to be a bit too harsh with the bright lights and everything. Um, so that's all I would do for her skin. So the final step is the lips. So I know a lot of you um, have different um, options for lips. So some don't even have lipstick at all. And then there's the blacks and the greens. So my biggest recommendation is to use a liquid lipstick. Um, first of all, it's very long lasting and it dries really quickly. So it stops it from going on your teeth, <laughs> which is what we don't want. Um, places that you can find the black and green, there's Jeffree Star, there's the Australis. I haven't tried any of them, but those are the only ones that I really know of. Um, and LA Splash. Look on makeup.co.nz, Beauty Bliss, go into Farmers and just try and find one. So I don't personally have any black liquid lipsticks on me. So I'm just going to grab that black gel liner that I used before and just show you what I would do if I had, um, if I was doing the lips. So first off, I'm going to start with the Cupid's Bow. Then just fill it in, fill in the areas, um, the middle areas. Eee! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, I see that.
And that's it whānau, that's the Matatini Haka makeup tutorial, um, I'm pretty sure it's the first ever Haka makeup tutorial um, that there has been, but kei pai, so basically that's it, um, I hope it was easy to follow and I want to send a massive um, kia kaha to all the rōpū that are going down to Matatini yeah. to perform kia kaha koutou, um, but yeah, kakite, kakite. Bye.